Psalm chapter 1 with commentary. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Welcome to the first Psalm with Commentary in the Psalms with Commentary series. Wow, Psalm 1 is packed with wisdom and understanding, counsel and might, knowledge and the fear of Yahweh. The first verse was a summary of the rest of the Psalm, and then the following verses expounded upon the first verse so let's look at verse one in detail. First part of the verse, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Considering that the entire education system is of the kingdom of Satan and the ungodly, if we are talking, taking any counsel advice from what the news tells us or the government education system tells us, or the television, radio, movies, and all other media outlets, including social media outlets, tell us we are taking counsel of the ungodly and walking in the way of the ungodly. And what is the way of the ungodly? Proverbs chapter 4. Hear ye children the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, Forsake ye not my law, for I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened, and when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. The word used is straightened, not as in a straight line, straightened as in impoverished, poverty-stricken, poor, destitute, penniless, indigent, needy, bankrupt, restricted in range or scope. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health 
to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a froward mouth, and perverse lips put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Wisdom of Solomon 310. But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And the middle part of the first psalm, verse 1. Nor standeth in the way of sinners. Proverbs 9, verses 8 through 11. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me thy days shall be multiplied, and the years of thy life shall be increased. So don't stand in the way of sinners. Don't be like them, but also don't stand in their way. Don't try to stop them from doing what is in their heart to do. Revelation 22, 10 through 20. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongerers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, Come. And let him that heareth say, Come. And let him that is a thirst come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so come. Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. It is not our job to convince anyone of anything. Our job is to plant the seed and water the seed. It is Yahweh who gives the increase. We do not know the hearts of men. Only Yahweh knows the heart. And the last part of verse 1 nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. We are going to reference another psalm for this last part of verse 1, Psalm 64. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him 
and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away, and all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. We've all known someone who just didn't like us and nitpicked at any perceived flaw that they could find in us. Yeah, don't be that guy. Thank you for joining me for the first psalm in the Psalms with Commentary series. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, and click the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Bye.